The United Nations says that more than $1.4 billion in donations is still needed in, last, uh, in East Africa. Earlier, I spoke on the phone with Andy Neatham, UNHCR's public affairs officer for Somalia, and asked him to describe the current situation in Mogadishu. The condition of the people and the situation in Mogadishu hasn't really changed an awful lot in the last number of days. Obviously, the situation on the ground in relation to security, etc., there were some big changes on the weekend, but still the needs remain uh, large for, for the people who are displaced. Um, already, you know, we had almost 400,000 people displaced before the famine. Another 100,000 are estimated to have come in. Uh, so, for example, UNHCR yesterday, we visited uh, a camp called Al-Adalala, which is right beside the Mogadishu International Airport. And there are about 2,000 families there, about 12,000 people. And they're all in need of, you know, very basic items to you and me, but are life-saving for them, such as, you know, plastic sheeting for shelter, kitchen utensils, uh, blankets and sleeping mats, etc. Uh, and they're also uh, very much in need of water and food. Would you say that uh, people are streaming into Mogadishu or people are leaving the city of Mogadishu to look for assistance elsewhere? It's, it's, it's a bit of both. There are people who are displaced from one part of Mogadishu to another. Um, there are also people who have been displaced into Mogadishu because of the drought and the famine. Although the latest data we see from some of our partners on the ground there that the, the influx may be slowing a little. Um, and that may be, we, we understand, because people are moving to other areas. They're making the even more arduous and even more uh, dangerous journey uh, further to the camps in Dolawado in Ethiopia or to the Dab in Kenya. But there still are people coming into Mogadishu, but the, the figures seem to be dropping a little. And a new dimension which we may see in the coming days and weeks is uh, if the security situation uh, in Mogadishu changes and continues uh, the way it is at the moment, we may see a lot of people spontaneously return. In other words, those people who were displaced from Mogadishu in the recent past because of fighting may make the decision to try to come back to Mogadishu to, to re-establish themselves there in their former homes. Uh, up to this moment, uh, to what extent has the inflow of aid improved? In terms of the aid, you and HCR, we're trying to get our aid in as fast as we can. And only yesterday we, we took delivery of 31 tonnes of aid on, a, on an airlift uh, from Dubai from our emergency stockpile there. That's the first time in, in over five years you and HCR has brought an airlift into Somalia. And the reason we took this was unprecedented step was because we're rapidly uh, depleting our stocks in the capital as we distribute among the, the many settlements in Mogadishu itself and also across southern Somalia. So in terms of aid, really, the message to go out is that we, we needed to, to keep coming and to keep replenishing the stocks as we distribute. So it's also a, an additional call that the, the funding uh, will also continue so that as we run down our stocks, uh, that we can, we can, we can re replace them with new, new items to, to give out. It is commonly said that uh, it's uh, easier for a refugee who crosses the border and uh, goes to a neighboring country and becomes an international refugee uh, than uh, for a person who is internally displaced. Uh, is that true in this particular case? Well, in, in the case of Somalia, for those who make it across the border and go into the refugee camps, obviously immediately they're recognized uh, for the refugee status and also they have access to to food, to water, to to assistance and to shelter and protection. Although, as we know, because of the huge numbers going into Dolawado and the Dab, things are a little bit, uh, you know, unprecedented in the terms of the numbers there. But it, from that point of view, as you say, it probably is true in a sense because the aid can be then given to that person. Once that person reaches the refugee camp, they can be assisted. Whereas if we have people, and there are one and a half million people internally displaced in Somalia, and some of those people are in places where they're hard to access or indeed, at the moment, a little bit almost impossible to get to. So, But the thing is, from the point of view of UNHCR and the other agencies, the solution to this really is to try to deliver as much assistance and as quickly as possible to people where they are right now. That was Andy Neatham, UNHCR Somalia Public Affairs Officer.